Hi, Jenny here. Today we are going to be making some creamy corn and potato chowder. Well, let's get started. For this recipe, you are going to need about four strips of cooked bacon, one onion, two red peppers, three ribs of celery. I only have two, so that's what I'm going with. Four potatoes, two teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, two cups of broth, one and a half cups to a whole bag, depending on how much corn you like, and one and a half cups of milk. I went ahead and cut up all the vegetables, so we're good to go. We're going to put just a little bit of oil in the bottom of our pan, put it on medium-high heat, and cook our onions for just a couple minutes, just until they're getting soft, a little translucent. If by chance you're cooking bacon the same day, um, you can cook bacon in, I don't know if you cook it in a stock pot. I mean, they say to cook it in the stock pot, remove the bacon, and then use the bacon fat. So I did make this once before. I had my husband helping me because it was going to take a while to do all this, and it usually takes bacon a long time. And because we like bacon in this family, we usually make a lot extra. It takes an hour just to do the bacon. <laughs> So I had him cooking the bacon in a regular pan, and then after he had the first batch done, um, we used a little bit of that bacon grease in the bottom of the pan then to, to start and cook our onions. So that's another way of doing this. In three minutes, the onions are getting soft, they're turning a little translucent. So now we are going to add our salt and pepper. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic. I said I made this once before. And after, as I was eating it, I'm like, it just tastes like something's a little off. And then I remembered that this recipe didn't have any garlic in it. So my husband said, yeah, he uh, ended up putting garlic salt on his bowl of soup because he wrecked it, you know, noticed that too, I guess, as he was sitting here cooking with me. So I figured I would add three cloves of garlic to the soup and zhuzh it up a little bit. Add our peppers and celery. And we're going to cook that for about another three minutes. All right, that's been three minutes. Looks like the peppers are getting a little bit soft. So now we're going to add our broth. I measured out two cups because the container normally holds about four. So I'll use that in another soup. And then we're also going to add our potatoes. And our frozen corn. We are going to bring this to a boil and then let it sit for about 10 minutes till these potatoes get soft. Okay, so the soup is boiling. I had turned the heat on high to get it to boil. And now that it is, we're going to set the timer for 10 minutes and then check the potatoes. So we'll go until the potatoes are soft. All right, the timer has beeped. This has been going for 10 minutes. See some of the water. The broth level is cooked off a little bit, a little bit low. But we're gonna check if our potatoes are tender. Do I have a big one? So take a fork. I'm piercing that pretty easily.
So we'll put this back down to a simmer. And then we're going to add our one and a half cups of milk. And then just let that heat through for a couple minutes and we'll be ready to eat. You don't want the milk to come to a boil. So make sure that it you have low heat. Otherwise it can kind of burn, it's all frothy and then it'll taste funny. <laughs> sneak down here again instead of changing up my camera lens. <laughs> but in any case, soup is all done. Then you can garnish it with your bacon if you'd like. Who wouldn't like to do that? So hence why they say up to four pieces of bacon because the soup is supposed to make um, about four servings. So you can use as much. <laughs> For me, I just make, make the whole batch of bacon and then, you know, use as much as you'd like because why not? makes you happy, right? I'm glad I still had bacon left over because, like I said, to speed up the process for this video a little bit, I made the bacon ahead of time. <laughs> and then I proceeded to eat four pieces of it because it was so yummy good. Um, so yeah, nobody went ahead and ate all the leftover bacon in the fridge. I was surprised. Normally, Normally bacon doesn't last long in this house. So anyways, garnish it and now we get to eat it. <laughs> so the corn and potato chowder soup is done. Hopefully it's not too hot that I can hold this. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to eating it. As I said, I did make the bacon a couple days earlier, hoping I was gonna make this last week, but then with Thanksgiving and stuff, you know, things uh, were a little busy and I didn't get around to it. So happy I got to it today. Um, yeah, this is a recipe I found in one of the magazines from the grocery stores they could send to the house. So I send them with coupons and they send a little book that shows you all the different recipes. So obviously you'll buy the ingredients to make these things. <laughs> uh, I've done a few um, alterations to it from what I found out as I've been making it. So in any case, um, like I said, I've had it before. I really enjoy it. So I will leave this recipe down in the description below. Let me know if you've eaten a soup like this before, if you like it. If you like garnishing your soups with bacon, I do. <laughs> Adds that little extra something that's very nice. So in any case, I'm going to enjoy my lunch. You guys, keep it positive. Go make it a great day. Bye-bye. Yummy. That's the right temperature. Bacon. Flavor on top of the potato and corn. Mmm. Good stuff. <laughs>